back to the Nasty Mouth Projection channel here at YouTube and of course this is Heavy Flashhead, the guy who runs this channel and this is episode number 10 of the Overrated or Underrated series. And um, we'll definitely uh, be talking about a few bands, uh, who knows, underrated. And they might be overrated, who knows. But let's definitely address the that's playing in the background. This, of course, uh, you should know by now. This is Enforcer from Beyond. Their uh, album that was uh, released last year. Um, this is by far my favorite from Enforcer. This is a fucking great album. Uh, Destroyer, which of course is on here. Uh, th this pretty much made my uh, top 10, or I think 25 uh, best albums of uh, 2015. This is just a great album. So it's definitely a uh, final goal um, into the box right here so I can shake it up and take things out blindly. Here we go. My eyes are closed. Let's see what band this is. This is a band I have. Let's go over here. Alright. Alright, I um sure it's messing my with the camera. So the band that I picked out of that box, uh, this is a new wave of British heavy metal band, uh, or a band that was around the time but released an album that was quite late and the, um, you know, the movement. This is Deep Switch. Um, this, of course, is a early Shadow Kingdom Records reissue. It's a two-disc copy, which first disc is the original album. The second disc is a bunch of demo material. Um, let's also address the photo. They, of course, tried to look as proggy as they could, kind of like, I guess, Genesis uh, during the 70s, but... Um, you know, I, had, I came... I, Actually, I came across this down in Fresno at Rasputin Records, and um, I wanted to check it out because I've always seen the artwork on, you know, online and such, Vibrations of Doom, but um, I never heard it until I picked it up, and this is an album I really need to spend way more time with because I, I gave it one spin, and while there's some tracks on there that's actually good, uh, The Passion Lake is actually the best track off this album, but this album is definitely... As far as the new wave of British heavy metal goes, this is kind of like a, a little weird album because of it's not all you know rock throughout the album. There's a lot of odd sort of little stuff in here. It's it, it, it's an album I really need to spend more time with. Um, if I as far as them being overrated or underrated, I guess uh, I can definitely say they probably are a little bit on the overrated side, but. They're far from being a bad band. It's just an album that uh, I can see it's not for everyone. But it's an album that got highly praised, and it, of course, ended up getting a CD reissue in 2010. So, I guess, just like with Virtue, I guess, but... Yeah, I tend to listen to Virtue a bit more, but yeah, I think that one's uh, a lot more overrated. Who knows? I may talk about it in a currently listening to episode. I may spin this after this video or maybe some sometime this week. Who knows? Alright, let's definitely uh, go back. Alright. Let's go again. I was about to take out an another one, which there would have been like uh, episode number eight where I would have took out double. So, let's see what band this is. Ah, this is a cool one. This is a, uh, I don't have any stuff fine, but I know their stuff just got reissued last year. Both albums by a different record label. This is a French metal band by the name of High Power. Um, this is a killer band. First two albums are great. While I do like the, the first album a bit more, both albums I listen to quite a bit, mostly downloaded and 
they're just great albums, and these are albums I really would love to just get on. I have, I have to pick up those Rio shoes because this is just a killer band. Um, underrated? Hell yes, they are underrated. They might get old, uh, rated quite highly, but I think they're an underrated band. I think both those two albums are just great, great albums. Um, it's just a, just a great band. Definitely. Um, I, I'm not going to try and name their albums uh, because they're all in French. So, and I didn't really learn a whole lot of good French anyway, so it's definitely... Uh, Pick out the last band for this video. So, one, two, three. Alright, here's the last one. Let's see what this is. All right, so this is Purgatory. Out out of here. Um, I think I'm talking about the uh, Cleveland metal band, the U.S. power metal group uh, that were on the Auburn Records label. Uh, I talked about them, of course, in my U.S. power metal month. Um, underrated band. They're just underrated, tied to the tracks, uh, and of course their self-titled EP. Just great, great band. Um, that's all. And of course, Greeno talked about him in his Auburn Records, uh, you know, spotlight video. Um, definitely great band. And out of all of these, only one band that definitely hit the uh, overrated uh, mark. So, uh, if you've heard of some of these bands, definitely post your comments down below. This is Happy Fashion Sing. I'm out, and I'll see you later.